Welcome back to Singer Family Adventures. I am here with another very special guest star to talk about Halloween. Vlogoween at Singer Family Adventures. Right now I am filming from my father's nursing home in Maryland. So if you didn't see the video I did with him a while ago, let me reintroduce you. You there, Dad? Yeah. Okay, this is my dad, Don, and this is his room. I won't show you the whole room, but I am going to show you his Boston Marathon certificate from when he ran the Boston Marathon at age 69. Right, Dad? Yes. Um, and today it's September 25th? 20, 25th, yes. Yeah. And I wanted to interview him a little bit about Halloween. So tell me, you were born in 1935, right? And when you were a little kid, kids got dressed up and went out trick-or-treating for Halloween? I think I got dressed up with an Uncle Sam suit, which later was uh, uh, involved in our selling war stamps in the second grade. In your, like, was it second grade war effort kind of thing? Yeah. Is that the only costume you remember, the Uncle Sam? Yes. Okay, hold on one second. But did you go out trick-or-treating as Uncle Sam? Yeah, I, I don't remember too much about it, though. Uh-huh. What were you saying? You were saying Sweetie Pie used to make... What I remember about Halloween is that my mother used to make candied apples. Uh-huh. Where you have this... And that's what she would give the trick-or-treaters. Nice. Which, they, they, which was pretty special. It was much nicer than candy or... Things like that. Yeah, and she was a really good cook. So um, that's what I remember from Halloween. I don't remember my own trick or treating. You just did you help give out the candy apples when you were older? No, well, I think I was there in the house where she was passing it out to people. Gotcha. And was it the kind with the red outside, or was it like a caramel outside? I think it was usually red. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. So since we're talking about my grandmother, I called Sweetie Pie, but since we're talking about your mom, Sweetie Pie, can we show her a picture? Yeah. Here. Oh. That is Dad's mom, Sweetie Pie, right? Yes. And uh, as a young woman. And do you remember Halloween when I was a child? Or do you remember Uncle David dressing up for Halloween? Well, I remember. The neighbor next door on, uh, to the right of our house seemed like a grouchy old man. Yeah? And the first time you went to Halloween, he, he had a whole lot of nice things for you. I can remember that, that I was sort of struck by that. That he had candy and stuff for you guys? For, for you, yeah. You. Oh, for me? Yeah. Yeah. On, was this on Saybrook Avenue? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. So you always thought he was a grouchy old man. Not just I thought he was a grouchy old man. Well, it just seemed very grouchy. Was this well, the Goldsteins or Goldbergs or something? The uh, people on both sides of us were related. I think they were brother and sister. Right. Right. But so he was a nice guy, or he was nice to the kids. He just had a grouchy persona. Yeah. Well, I guess when I got to know him, I got along with him okay. But uh huh. This was like maybe the first year we were there. You were two years old. Uh huh. And we were new to the neighborhood. Right. So, you don't remember much else about Halloween when you were a kid? 
No. Do you remember your sister or your brother dressing up? Um, no. Yeah, see, I'm curious sort of when in, in most of America it became a really big deal, you know. But that's interesting to think about sweetie pie and candy apples. Um, so what else comes to mind about Halloween, Dad? Are you thinking? Well, I remember when kids used to come around to our place. Uh-huh. And you'd have to hand out things to them and so forth. And uh, sometimes the kids weren't that small. They were sort of like teenagers or or maybe people around uh, Rafi's age. Or, I know. Well, teenagers still want candy. Yeah. Rafi wants to go trick-or-treating this year, but it's... Uh, I, I'm not sure what people will think of him knocking on their doors, you know, when he's almost six feet tall, but yeah. he, he, he still wants to trick or treat and I don't blame him. <laughs> so we'll see what we're going to do. I hate to tell him he can't. It feels like the end of childhood or something, right? So... And do you, do you remember, did you let me eat all the candy right away, or, or what were your rules? Uh, I don't remember to eat that much candy. Sometimes we'd have leftovers, and, and we would have candy to eat. And then I think sometimes I, I brought them to work with me or something. Uh-huh, brought my candy to work? Yeah. Yeah. That we didn't hand out. Does anything happen here for Halloween? Probably not. What? Do they do anything here at Collington for Halloween? Oh yeah. What do they do? They bring the kids around. And, and oh nice. Yeah. Even during COVID, did they do it last year? I'm not sure. I, 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 I haven't gotten involved in that. Okay. But they bring, normal years, they bring kids through in a little parade and yeah. costumes. Yeah. Mainly, I guess, is the children of the employees. Uh-huh. That's fun. Do you have anything else you want to share right now? No. no. Not really? Not on the phone anymore. Okay. I love you, Dad. You say bye to everybody? Okay. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.